Hello and welcome. My name is Super Saiyan and this is your weekly news and pre-order video covering all of the Forge World and Games Workshop releases. I uh, just want to say a huge welcome to all of you new subscribers that have subscribed to the channel uh, in the recent weeks. I release a video every day. It's typically of the new releases but I've also got um, videos for Warhammer Conquest and Legends and I occasionally do the collection videos too. If you want to support the channel further other than subscribing and liking the videos, I do have a Patreon page. Any support you can give helps the channel out greatly and helps me as a creator continue to make these videos daily. Unfortunately, I've not been able to give away uh, free models anymore thanks to Patreon. So instead what I do is I typically release a video um, quite frequently, uh, like a behind the scenes video of what I've been doing um, for the week and the previous week. So there you'll see models that you won't see on the channel for you know a couple of weeks afterwards. Um, and I go through a, a wide range of models, not just particular one. Um, the first episode I put up um, had a detailed look at Sanguinius um, uh, many days before the review was out. So let's go on to the um, Warhammer community website. So seven days ago on the uh, 16th of March, um, we looked at Shadow Sphere being available. I did the unboxing on the Saturday last week. Um, this community uh, website had a uh, little bit of an article about it. Um, along with the pre-orders um, for last weekend, which were new core models. Now, if you've got the Vigilus um, book, or you're gonna get the Vigilus book, the second one, um, that does have the rules for um, these core models in there for 40K. Um, they're also in the Chaos Demons book too, by the way. You get the Skull Taker and the Bloodmaster, as well as um, Karanak um, and the Flesh Hounds, which were only available in the Wrath and Rapture set um, a couple of months ago. The day after on the Sunday, uh, they previewed Abaddon and Chaos Space Marines and a few other things that were that are up for pre-order today. I have pre-ordered Abaddon, uh, the Vigilus 2 book, the new Chaos um, Codex, and these Chaos Space Marines. I didn't get the dice and I didn't get the um, scenery piece. I'm sure there'll be videos from other um, YouTubers uh, about them. But um, I was a big fan of the Abaddon model um, and I'm a big fan of new Chaos Space Marines um, because if this means we're going to get updated ranges for Eldar and Tau and other uh, factions then that would be great. But there's the Crown Luck, there's the Vigilus Ablaze book um, and then there's the Chaos Space Marine Codex. They put up this um, interesting flowchart <laughs> whichever way you go they want you to spend more money of course they do but um you've got to start here and then if you own the previous version of chaos um space marines that came out two years ago then you should get vigilus ablaze because it has some new data sheets in and if you want more chaos uh, you can either download the shadow spear chaos data sheets or you can get shadow spear itself because then you get the the models as well as um the rules and the data sheets in the um little mini codexes but if you don't own um the previous version of Chaos Space Marines, but you want to start, then you should get the uh, new codex, and that's what I've done because I didn't own the first one. Uh, and I've obviously also got Shadow Spear and um, Vigilus Ablaze is coming too. So that was their preview um, article. Um, great news on the Monday uh, Warhammer 40,000 Conquest coming to Australia, finally. Um, that's great news for you guys down under. It's a subscription service, I want to say, um, run by Hachette Partworks, who run multiple other uh, subscriptions. If you subscribe, you get uh, an issue a week, but they just send you all four issues at the end of the month. And each issue has either models, paints, or tools. Um, and you can just build your collection. So if you didn't touch any of the Dark Imperium stuff, or any of the Primaris Space Marines, or Death Guard stuff, then it's really worth it. Um, but if you did, and you did buy all the releases like I did, then you can still get some value. Um, it's just you're gonna be left with a lot of duplicate um, models and scenery as well. But overall, it does save you money from buying all the models separately uh, if you wanted to buy all the models separately. They had Winner Mystery Box for one week only. Basically, all you have to do is just subscribe uh, to Games Workshop, Forge World and Black Library. If you're already subscribed, you've already entered, uh, essentially. There's a Forge World preview of Doom of Moloch, um, which is the next um, book. It mainly focuses on um, knights and how you can have like a, an army of of just knights if you really want um, a household 
Uh, obviously, they had the normal Titanicus, then they had Titan Death, and now they've got Doom of Moloch. Then, throughout the whole week, there's been focuses on different heretic Astartes. So, first, they had the Black Legion um, on the battlefield. Uh, you've got um, focuses on Abaddon as well, and his uh, stat line. There was a, a nice picture of these Terminators. I'm personally not a fan, just because I'm not a fan of the tusks on them. Uh, and the armour itself as well. You know, that armour... Was it really around in the Horus Heresy? I'm not quite sure, but I know that the Cataphracti and the Tartarus pattern were, and I would have liked to have seen, from a design point of view, from a model point of view, more more Terminator armour akin with the Death Guard stuff. I thought those um, Death Guard Terminators and the Death Shroud Terminators as well, uh, the Death Shroud Bodyguard, they were, you know... I much prefer the look of them. These are kind of just updated versions of what we've already got. But still, you know, it's nice that they're getting new models. And I'll probably talk about them more when they go up for pre-order. Maybe next week, I'm thinking. Um, Heretic Astartes Focus Index, they look at each of the ones. So you've got Black Legion, Iron Warriors, Night Lords, Word Bearers, World Eaters. And then throughout next week, I think you'll have Emperor's Children, Alpha Legion, and uh, so on. There's a new Battle Sister Bulletin. Um, showcasing how all the, the miniatures tell a story uh, and then they showed some of the work that's been going on with Sisters of Battle model and um, they're really bigging this up so they, they must have put an awful lot of work into these to be showcasing all of this and um, they made a huge point about each one of these um, rosary beads are different sizes mm, okay anyway and then they had the heretic of, uh, focus for Iron Warriors, a rumour engine, um, Necromunda Tactica House Goliath, uh, FAQ 2019, um, update 1, and it even give you, gives you this uh, f chart again. Every year FAQ is on April, um, and then twice a year you get FAQ 2. So uh, you get two FAQs throughout the year. I suppose that's pretty good. Uh, store opening celebration, you can get this uh, Lena Stormspire, really cool li little model actually, um, standing on an orc head. So you just attend a store opening, refurbishment or relocation. There's also plenty more merchandise to pick up, including a Space Marine Terminator Captain. Siege of Terror, this was brilliant, meet, meet the authors, I really like this article. Um, this is the Solar War. This will be available in May, it seems, um, from what I can read. That sucks. Uh, it should have been available with the limited edition, um, in my opinion. I strongly believe that, especially as, as you can see now, they're investing a lot in you know these articles and hyping it up and all the rest of it. The limited edition, two and a half thousand copies, still sold out um, within an hour or so. Keep your eyes peeled for these books because they will be selling selling out fast, even the, the standard edition ones, even the hardback ones, and maybe we'll get softback at some, some time. So the authors for The Solar War were Dan Abnett, Aaron Dembski-Bowden, John French, Guy Haley, Gav Thorpe, and Chris Raitt. And Guy Haley will be bringing you uh, book two, and it's called The Lost and the Damned, um, coming your way later in 2019. And uh, you can get Solar War ebook, MP3, audiobook, uh, and hardback on the 11th of May. So that's going to be almost two months after the limited edition um, comes out. So I don't know whether that sets a precedence for uh, the other limited edition editions, um, but if it does, it's worth noting that down because if you want it two months in advance, then it might be worth you sinking that, that £50 um, for each of them. More Heretic Astartes focuses, this one on the, the Night Lords and then the Renegade uh, chapters. Regimental Standard looked at Know Your Legion, that was a Middle Earth um, blog for Jay's Grand Tournament journey. Uh, Martin's Gloom Spike gets trip, tips and tricks and another Heretic Astartes focus, the Word Bearers. Um, who fights first in um, Warhammer Age of Sigmar, more questions about which uh, unit fights first. Customising your Heretic Astartes Forge World style. This was quite odd because um, it just seemed like a bit of a promotion for uh, Forge World and all of the doors and the 
helmets and the uh, shoulder pauldrons that they release. Um, I myself have uh, bought the Death Guard and doors and the Rhino doors, and they're absolutely brilliant. And I'd love to get the uh, Land Raider um, doors at some point. Another uh, Heretic Astartes focus this time: the World Eaters. Um, then there was turn signals on a Land Raider number seventeen. Vigilus Ablaze Preview, The War of Nightmares. This was pretty good. A nice backstory to Vigilus and all the uh, wars that are going on. And a uh, good look at some models there. You've got some Gene Stealer Cults, uh, you've got some Predators, um, Obliterators, and so on. And a nice map and campaign rules. So a nice little preview there. And then finally, a bit of a, a promotion for Warhammer Fest um, 2019. That takes place 11th to the 12th of May. Uh, there's still tickets available. Uh, this time they're looking at uh, gaming there. Um, so if you want to go and take your, um, your models, you can do. And uh, you can get tickets for the gaming experiences uh, today. So that's it for the news. Um, quite a lot this week that's gone on there. Let's jump on over to Forge World, where there is nothing um, to pre-order. Um, you've still just got the Cordor bomb delivery routes from last week. Um, that's a bit of a shame that there's nothing to pre-order. So we're going to shoot straight on over to Games Workshop, where there is an awful lot of um, things to pre-order here. Uh, they're even showcasing models that aren't up for pre-order in this little video, which I think is a bit... Bit, bit naughty, bit, bit cheeky. Um, you know, there's a Baden, he's up for pre order today. Uh, you've got the Chaos Space Marines, which look awesome. Um, but, uh, and then you've got the Crown. But the Apostle, Dark Apostle, isn't, and neither is the Lord Discordant. Um, bit of a shame. Anyway, let's go to New and Dis Exclusive. Uh, we hit the pre order button, and we view all, and let's do high to low. So straight straight off, we've got what essentially boils down as an HQ character model. I don't just want to say an HQ model, an HQ character model, ten Chaos Space Marines and the Codex for almost a hundred pound. Can you remember guys when you could get a codex for less than ten quid and a box of space marines for ten quid and a character for like fifteen? So you're looking at thirty-five pound. This is where the hobby's um, got to right now. I don't want to be too negative, but let's face it, it is £100 for 11 models and a book. <laughs> it's turning into a very expensive hobby, um, I have to say. So there you go. You can get a bad and, and, and the 10 Chaos Space Marines and the Codex, and I think you get uh, some dog tags. Um, what does it say? It's got a picture of the dog tags. It says... Uh, What's more, when you order this bundle, we'll send you a set of Black Legion dog tags. Absolutely free. Yeah, damn right, 100 quid. Um, anyway, you've got the Lords of the Imperium and Chaos Collide. Uh, unfortunately, that doesn't save you any pennies at all from buying them separately, uh, but you can get uh, Gilliman and Abaddon, which are both fantastic models um, for 75 pound. You can get both of the uh, Vigilus books here, Vigilus Defiant and Vigilus Ablaze for 60, that doesn't save you any money. And actually, I think that um, Vigilus Ablaze should have been in the Shadow Sphere um, box um, game because it's, you know, what, a £25 book or whatever. Um, you know, if that was in there, then that would have made it much more appealing, um, you know, and on par almost to uh, the Dark Imperium box set, which most people have been um, comparing. Uh, the sets to. Then you've got the uh, collector's edition for £50 and that's pretty cool because it does come with a slip case um, and lovely artwork on the, the front and back even though it's exactly the same it's just you know black and white uh, but the pages look very nice a uh, nice um, page keeper and it actually does say how many pages it is. It's 200 pages which is brilliant I was a big fan of the first um, Vigilus book um, because that was bigger than I thought um, and I sort of mentioned uh, in that unboxing, and which I still haven't done the review for, but I mentioned in that first look that I 
was very impressed and I'd like to get the um, the second one if the second one was in the same uh, you know same size and same amount of content and I have you can get the Chaos Space Marine Essentials for £47.50 which is the new Chaos Space Marine Codex some dice and the data cards um, for some reason these are up for pre-order I think that it's just a reboxing um, of the Helldrake the Mauler Fiend and the Forge Fiend um, they're not new models they've just been reboxed Abaddon the Despoiler then. Let's have a good look at Abaddon. Um, I've had a look at him before um, on like the news um, videos and things, but I think he's an incredible model. He does mirror Gilliman a little bit. If you've watched the designer's video, that was on purpose. Um, they wanted to reflect him a bit. Um, but as you can see, there are three uh, heads. So there's... Um, Disappointed Abaddon, Angry Abaddon, and Bane Abaddon. <laughs> um, Bane Abaddon. Anyway, um, so you've got those different ones, and the top knot is completely optional. You don't have to give him a top knot, as the designer said. Uh, he's stomping on a Primaris Sergeant? Ancient? Is it a Lieutenant? <laughs> is that the 11th Lieutenant? Who knows? But he's stomping on, um, on him, uh, and... I do like the sword with these faces, incredible, um, and I do like the Talon of Horus. Um, fantastic weapons, both of them, very legendary. Uh, look, he's even got the uh, the artwork there next to it. And there's the sprue, two sprues, two sprues, and then you get a funky uh, box look. Look at that. I'm looking forward to that. Um, but yeah, £37.50, is it too much? You're not going to buy two of them, are you? So that's one of the reasons why so so much. He does have a, you know, quite a detailed scenic-ish base. Um, are they trying to price these models like Forge World? I I kind of think they are, with Gilliman and and Abaddon. Um, you know, Primarchs used to be forty five, fifty quid, uh, and they've gone up to you know Sanguinius level, which is eighty pounds and so have sort of character models as well. I think that the Rise of a Primark box set was 55 or 60 pounds. You know, so you got two characters in there as well. So it didn't seem that more expensive because you got, you know, a selection of models, but 37 pound 50 on its own, for some reason, it seems like a lot. But I'm a big fan of the model uh, and I can't wait to get him and uh, give you a full review. More excellent models right here, Chaos Space Marines. They look very, very individual. I can't see any repetitions or repeats of poses or repeats of running. This is what we want. Yes, they are £35 for 10 Chaos Space Marines. I understand that. I've read lots of comments. I've read people's opinions on other um, places. But the Death Guard Plague Marines uh, were £30 for seven. So this actually works out better. You're getting more Marine for your, for your money. And I don't like to draw that comparison with other sets that have come before that were similar priced to then give this a, a kind of perceived value. It is extortionate. £35 uh, for 10 primary Space Marines, fine. You know, uh, they're a new range, they're bigger, whatever. But this is a lot of money now. £35 for 10 plastic Chaos Space Marines. Mark III um, Iron Armour um, normal Space Marines are £30. I think this £35 it is too much. I think they should have been priced at 30 25 was a bit cheap. You know, that tactical Space Marine set is um, a fair few years old now. Uh, I think that came out in 2013, so that's six years old. So to price them at 25 is is a bit low. Um, but to price them at 30 would have been very competitive. But they've, they've chosen to price these Chaos Space Marines at um, Primaris level. They're not as tall as Primaris Intercessors at all. Because I've got the models in the Vigilus set, and I've got the models um, in the Blackstone Fortress set, and they're just not. But anyway, let's have a look at the models themselves. I like this champion with the plasma pistol and the uh, power axe. Uh, it's got a blade there too. Love the power pack. Um, lots of attention to detail. This guy here just doesn't care. He's got this bolt gun with... Uh, he doesn't even have a magazine. 
and he's just holding the ammunition and firing. Fantastic. Um, this guy too, another champion. You can have him with a bolt pistol or plasma and pistol. Really like this spiky power mace. Awesome. Um, again, is that a graviton weapon? Is that a grav, grav gun? Love the power axe again with the with the eye. Some more weapons, heavy bolter there, and a chainsaw. And no more pictures of close close weapons, but um, the thing is, I think that they do have, these are the sprues, as you can see. And there are heavy weapons. You get a heavy bolter or a missile launcher but you don't get uh, the big Punisher weapon because I think that they are Havocs. So we'll be getting a new Havoc box set, I think, um, which I'll definitely be interested in. Anyway, that's the new set, £35. This is the new book, one of the new books up for pre-order, Vigilus Ablaze, £30, same price as the previous one. It is 200 pages, um, but they haven't marked it anywhere on here but they marked it in the limited edition. So they're getting better. Games Workshop, you are getting better. You just need to put it in the standard edition uh, description too, um, because just to put it in the limited edition um, description is, is not enough. It's a job half done. But 200 pages, it has all the campaign rules. Um, you've got data sheets for 12 Demon and Chaos Space Marine units. Doesn't like you've got any uh, data sheets for any Primaris or Space Marine units. Um, this is all about the chaos, um, this book will be, because it's Vigilus Ablaze. You've got eight specialist detachments, uh, rules for the Black Legion, and eight bespoke uh, stratagems. So you're getting more data sheets in there than you did in the first Vigilus, which just had um, Primarius Calgar and Harkon World Claimer, and just two, I think. So you're getting more data sheets, which is what I sort of asked for um, to begin with. Could they have done both of these books in one book for £40? Yeah, uh, I think so. But they've chosen to release it as, as two separate books. I wonder if we'll get a third book. Who knows? Anyway, so that's the book, £30. This is the Noctilith Crown for £30. So it's cheaper than the Frag Drill, but it's more expensive than the Mechboy Workshop and the Eldari um, Webway Gate. And it's more expensive than the Imperial Knights of Christian Forge Shrine. So it's one of the pricier um, terrain pieces, but again, not quite as pricey as the Frag Drill. Uh, actually, I was expecting this to be £25. Um, it's not that much bigger than those Chaos Space Marines and things there. Um, it will be the cheaper, darker plastic, as you can see there, uh, made in China. I would have thought it's just two sprues, um, you know, two halves. It seems very easy to, to replicate uh, and make a duplicate. And pieces look look there it just looks like maybe three times the height two three maybe three and a little bit height I was expecting it to be bigger like the base of it like the feet to be bigger it looks like a stargate it really does to me you just expect this to have a water effect in it and then blow out a load of water and suck it back in that that's what it screams to me they've, they've now got a stargate but anyway um, that's 30 pounds for your £30, it's going to give you invulnerable saves to your um, Chaos Space Marines, which is pretty good. And then you've got the Codex Chaos Space Marines. It's just labelled as Codex Chaos Space Marines, but then if you look closely, it's got a little number, a skull and a, and a number two uh, on there. And I think it has the new models. Definitely has the new um, Terminators there and the new Chaos Space Marines. So which clearly it didn't have in number one. Um, unfortunately, they've purposely left out the number of um, pages of the book. Again, um, it does say that you've got 53 data sheets in there, which is fantastic. And it's gonna be very expensive for me to try and cover every single unit in there, but I will do my best. Um, it's a, it says important note here, uh, this is an updated version of Chaos, Codex Chaos Space Marines containing new art, lore, and updated rules encompassing new content from Imperium, Nihilus, Vigilus Ablaze, including prayers to the Dark Gods, updated minis, and more. If you already own a copy of Chaos Space Marines and Vigilus uh, Ablaze, you'll find this book a handy compilation. However, you do not need a copy of the original Codex 
or Vigilis Ablaze to use this product. Um, so basically, you, you know, it's it, they've said that you don't need Vigilis Ablaze for it. Um, I wanted to get Vigilis Ablaze anyway because there's not going to be that much of a focus of that in this, and Vigilis is a 200 page um, book. Yes, it has 12 data sheets, which is nowhere near this 53. Um, and I like to read up about the law and the various places and things that Vigilis will will uh, encompass. Yes, there will be uh, units in those 12 data sheets that will be in here, but it, it's clear that the, the other um, 41 uh, units won't be um, in Vigilis Ablaze. So if you want to expand the Chaos Space Marine Army, then you know this will be your go-to book. Um, you know, in 8th edition. And then you can buy e-publications and enhanced uh, editions uh, for your tablets and your phone. Um, you know, Vigilus Ablaze Enhanced Edition, uh, you're going to save a penny um, to have it enhanced. Um, for the e-publication, it's 24.99. For the Enhanced Edition for the um, Codex, it's 24.99. And then the e-publication, it's 19.99. Again, these units are just repackaged. They're not um, brand new, so you've got the Chaos Rhino, um, which comes in your 140,000 Conquest um, subscription over two um, subscriptions, so that's still £16. So you're going to be saving um, you know, £7.50 than buying one separately. Chaos Spikers, very old models, I'd love to see them get um, updated um, for £21. The Sorcerer and Terminator Armour and the Chaos Space Marine Terminator Lord, they are actually exactly the same model for £15, but you, you've just got enough parts to build either of them. That's quite an old model, but it's still a pretty cool model. Iron Warriors is a new hard, is a new paperback book by Graham McNeil, 12 99 I'm a big fan of Graham McNeil as an author, and he does Chaos Space Marines and Iron Warriors very good, so i definitely recommend that book. Um, Chaos Space Marines Dice, I like the look of them, but using them in game might be a bit tricky. Uh, but I do really like the look of those with the with the bronze, and I think they've done a fantastic job with them. I couldn't have um, envisaged them to to be made any better than than they have. Perdition's Flame CD that's up for pre order for twelve pound. Uh, you have got the data cards ten pound as your normal. You got the Wicked and the Dam this time in paperback um, for eight ninety nine. Chaos Cultists. Don't get excited, they're not new. I think there will be new Chaos Cultists coming at some point, but they're six pounds, so that's more than a pound per cultist, which is, yeah, pretty pricey. Um, Chaos Art Cards, Dog Tags, and Visualist Campaign Badge 2. So I think you get all of these for pre-ordering um, some of the new stuff today. If we just select that, it says here, uh, all you have to do is, is order a copy of Visualist Ablaze. I think they've still got them left. How you get the dog tags is all you have to do is pre order a bad and spoiler codex chaos space marines and a squad of um, chaos space marines. Now, the way that's written, it seems like you have to pre order all of those, but it might just be that you only have to pre order one, it's not that specific. And then the art cards to get those, you just have to pre order the codex chaos space marines which is pretty good and these do look nice because you've got the uh, codex artwork there you've got the uh, Vigilus Ablaze artwork um, and some older artwork, there's Harkon and there's Dark Apostle I think and another Chaos Space Marine Lord so a lot to go over today, I know it's a long video but um, it's going to be another long one next weekend and probably the weekend after. I think it's gonna be two more uh, weekends of these Chaos releases. Uh, really looking forward to the Lord Discordant. Um, I'm not gonna pick up the Terminators. I'll pick up the Havocs probably. So there's still plenty to look forward to in this Chaos release. And it's a great sign of things to come uh, with updates for other armies. Chaos players have been waiting such a long time for this. Um, so I'm really pleased for you and I wanna support the release as much as I can. What do you guys think of all of the uh, pre-orders um, up today of the Chaos Space Marines, the Abaddon and the pricing and Vigilus Ablaze? Um, do you think that they've put too much up um, this week, this weekend? Um, it'd be great to hear from you. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching The Emperor Protects.